What's up, Laura? Hi. Oh my God. Please be nice to me. <laughs> um, okay. So, sorry, I was crying. One of my best things seeing is somebody come to Christ because I just know how it feels. So I am a new Christian, baby Christian. Um, so I started with the New Testament. I started doing the Gospels, and now I'm kind of in the Old Testament. But I just have one question, and I know that you can help answer this question. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. No, you can. You can, Sam. You got it. All right. So it's Exodus. I'm, not, or, I'm sorry. Yes, it's Exodus 4. Yeah, yeah. Um, 24 to 25, right? Yes, I'm so confused. Yeah, Exodus 420. How do you know you're going to ask me about Exodus 424? Because there's Sam Shaboon. <laughs> now, guys, she's asking me about Exodus 424 to 25. Yes. Right. But before you explain, I when I was reading through it, I was thinking maybe, and mind you, I'm, I'm so new. I'm super new. Um, I was thinking maybe it's substitutional atonement, but I'm not sure. So I was like, let me see because I know he, he'll know it. You I don't know. Is you high? No. Right. <laughs> Aren't you high on the spirit? Yes. So why do you, why do you say no? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I got you there. All right. All right. Anyway, Exodus 4, 24, 25. Okay. Yes. Right. We're going to read 26. Now it happened at the lodging place on the way that Yahweh encountered him. Mm -hmm. and so Put him to death. So Yahweh encountered who? Um, Moses. Well, that's only him in the context, right? Yes. So Yahweh sending Moses to set Israel free, but now he wants to kill him dead. Right. Why? So that's what she's confused here. So you understand the confusion, brethren? It's like, oh, hold on, hold on. Didn't just Yahweh tell Moses, go to Pharaoh and tell him, let my people go and you know, mm -hmm. let go. And now then and Moses is on his way and now Yahweh wants to kill him. Yeah. Why? It's confusing, right? Yeah. But then if you read 25, 26, what's the answer here? Then Zipporah took a flint and cut off her sons. He had two sons. Okay. Skin, and touched his feet with it. And she said, you are indeed a bridegroom of blood to me. Meaning this... Our marriage is is based on blood, right? I mean, broad of blood, right? I mean, we we are unified by this blood that I just had to present, right? Yes. And it's it's in a way, it's not like she's not saying it being happy and joyful, right? Like, wow, right. Dude, you're. In other words, if I were to give him modern paraphrase, like, dude. You know, you are one head, you know, in other words, you're, you're the kind of husband that causes us problems and brings uh, misery in our lives because of your negligence. Why? Okay. Did you understand the implication? Who circumcised the two sons? Um, the wife did, right? The poor, which yes. means what? What does that mean? <sighs> That's what I'm confused about because she did it. And then it said that he, she threw the, the skin on his feet. Yeah. The feet that can be a euphemism, meaning threw it before his genitals. That's a euphemism. But what okay. does it mean that she circumcised the sons? I don't I know. I ask you a question so you can go deeper. Yeah. Um... Was Moses a son of Abraham? Don't don't make me retire from living. Was Moses a son of Abraham? Yes. Because you're like thinking about it. Hmm, let me guess. Hmm, maybe he was a son of Ishmael. All no, right. no, 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 no. What, what did God tell Abraham he must do? Um, circumcise. You got it, man, here. On what day must the males be circumcised? On the eighth day. You got it, girl. Everything you own, you got it. All right. <laughs> Genesis 17. Genesis 17, 9 to 14. Let's see if you're going to make the connection. Anything at all? Genesis. I'll read it for you, sister, because I just want okay. you to get your uh, blue nail polish. God said further to Abraham, now it's for you. You shall keep my covenant, you and your seed after you throughout their generations. This is my covenant, which you shall keep between me and your seed, you and your seed after you. Every male among you shall be circumcised, and you shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskin. And it shall be the sign of the covenant between me and you. Now watch the threat. And every male among you who is eight days old shall be circumcised throughout your generations. 
One who's born in the house or one who is bought with money from any foreigner who is not of your seed. Even a stranger, if he lives in Israel, he's got to be circumcised. A servant who is born in your house or is bought with your money shall, shall be circumcised. Thus shall my covenant be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. But an uncircumcised male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin, that person shall be cut off from his people. He has, he has broken the covenant. He must die or he must be exiled and thrown out. So if you don't get circumcised, what happens? You got to get exiled. Or cut off, meaning you can or even cut off because that's a willful violation. Now, Moses is the son of Abraham, right? Yes. He knew that law? Yes. But he didn't get his son circumcised. Mm -hmm. I don't think you got it. He didn't get his son circumcised. What does that right. mean? Right. So that's why God was going to kill him? God is now going to cut him off for not practicing what he preaches. Okay. Got it. Because Moses had two sons. He knew better not to circumcise his sons. And Zipporah knew this is why God, God is making an example. Look, though you're my man, I'm impartial, I'm biased. I don't just overlook your sins and punish someone else for the same sins you commit. You're going to have to walk by example. But here you're a poor example to my people because you yourself have Didn't been do. in circumcising your sons. So now I'm going to have to do what I said to Abraham. I'm going to have to cut you off. Mm. Got it. Yep, it's pun intended, Kitty Rason, actually. Cut off, cut off. Did everyone get the answer? So then Zipporah knew that's why God is angry. Mm -hmm. When God saw Zipporah circumcised, he left him alone. And that time she said, you are a bridegroom of love in reference to the circumcision. In other words, it's because of your negligence, you almost got yourself killed. And now I had to do the dirty work of circumcising our boys, something you failed to do. And this is the blood that has now bind us together because if I hadn't done this, you'd be cut off and killed. Got it. You see how it works? Yes, sir. All right now, here's another thing people don't know about. Zipporah was the daughter of <clears throat> Raguel. Raul, he's got several names. Jethro. Jethro is a Midianite. He lived in the land of Median, right? Mm -hmm. Midianite lived in the land of Median, which means his father, right? His father, sorry about that, is a Midianite, correct? Right. So if you read Exodus 2, he settled in the land of Median, and the priest of Median, Jethro, whose name is Raul, Ragul, gave him his daughter, Zipporah, right? Mm -hmm. That's in Exodus 2, guys. If you read, I'm showing it to you. He had seven daughters. Now, how did Zipporah know that Moses was in violation of the Abrahamic covenant? And therefore, that's why God wanted to strike him dead, because she's a Medianite, right? Don't drop the ball on me, sister. Yes. She's a Medianite, right? Yes. Her father's a priest of Median, right? Yes. Notice Exodus 2, 16. He has seven daughters, right? Yes. And so that means he's a Medianite who lives in the land of Median, named after his father, Median. Right? Right. That's why it says here, he gave his daughter Zipporah to Moses. Do you know who Median is? No. He's one of the sons of Abraham. Oh. Did you know that Abraham had eight sons altogether? No. Because we're not as biblically educated as we should be, right? Right. Because Moses, Abraham had a son from Hagar. Then he had a son from Sarah. But when Sarah died, it says Abraham married a woman named Keturah. She gave birth to six other sons, one of whom is Median. Genesis 25, verses 1 to 11. Well, we're just going to read the first two verses. Here you go. Okay. Abraham took another wife whose name was Keturah, and she bore to him Zimran, Jokshan, Midan, and Median, and Ishbak, and Shua. Do you understand why that's important or no? Yes. Because Median is the son of Abraham from Keturah. Mm -hmm. Means Zipporah is a descendant of Abraham. Meaning her father, Jethro, is a physical descendant of Abraham from Median. And her father, Jethro, was also worshiping Yahweh in Median. And he was a priest of Yahweh. So they would have known 
Yeah. Yeah. They would have they known the customs and known that they should have been circumcised. Damn, you got a girlfriend. <laughs> awesome. So they were both negligent. Yeah. So that's your answer, girl. I don't know okay. Thank you so much. Um, that's it. God bless you. Sister. I thank you so much. I love watching you guys. You've taught me so much. And um, yeah, God bless you. Who's you guys? You said guys. Um, I first came across you first and then Avery. It's God's God way. logic. <laughs> do you have a day job, sister? I do. Don't give up. Don't give it up for singing. Oh man, I see. Yeah. I sing okay. real good. No, I'm just no, joking. Be careful, man. Why that Colombian she will be angry? Okay, but yeah, I hope that answered your well, question. Thank you so much. Um, I just I'm so glad I came to Christ uh, in 2021 off a crazy experience. I wasn't any other religion. I just um I knew about God, but I didn't know anything about Jesus. And um something happened to me. He came to me in a dream, and I've just been obsessed whoa, whoa, whoa. ever since. Yeah. What well, he didn't. You can't do he it. Just, oh man, it's a weird, crazy story. I, my family had a really dark situation happen to them. Um, if, I don't want to say it, but uh, basically the Joseph situation. If you can get what I'm saying. Which Joseph? When uh, brothers uh, betrayed him? Yes, but what the what the Pharaoh's wife did to him? Damn! Someone did that to you? Not to me, but to a family member, and um. The family member that this happened to, by the glory of God, the courts and the jurors. Oh, amen. It's all all right. Glory to God. Oh, and my God. Just... But he was he was atheist. Uh, the other family member was just not really anything. Her husband was Muslim, and I was just walking around mindlessly. And um, we all came to Christ. We knew it was Jesus. And I've been obsessed. Hallelujah. I can't even read scripture without crying, man. It's glory to God. So Amen. beautiful. I just am obsessed with Jesus. I love him. Amen. May we love him more and more and God heal me. Yeah. But stay strong. Yes, girl, sir. All right. Thanks, Sam.